Hey everyone, hi, it's Mark here. Just hobbled my way from upstairs to downstairs here in my office, but I just wanted to say um, thanks for tuning into my video. Hi, my name is Mark Camachi, and it was about, well, just over three weeks ago that I, you know, ended up with this. I was at the Peace Arch uh, General Hospital after I tore my uh, Achilles tendon. Actually, I ruptured it playing softball on my niece's baseball team. So not one of those fun moments, but again, being a weekend warrior, playing amongst all the 20 and 30 year olds, it was a bit of a ego boost for me. But again, I wanted to share my story as I go through my journey of rehab and uh, hopefully this benefits others out there. One of the things I struggled to find was information that was recent as well as uh, pertain to guys who are over 50 years old. I happen to be 61 and uh, I like to consider myself fairly active. I love golf, ski in the winter, you know, I strength train two, three times a week. So I'm always uh, aware of my health. I watch my diet. I'm actually a low carb eater, uh, sometimes keto or more oftentimes Cheeto keto. So, um, but I am very aware of, of what I put in my body and what I do with my body. So you other weekend warriors out there, hope you uh, follow along with me as I go through my rehab and uh, I'll tell you all about what I'm going to at this point in time, which is just over three weeks. I had my cast cast taken off um, on Friday and back into the air cast. So uh, for the next three weeks, I'll be on, on my crutches, a little bit of weight bearing, which is nice. Finally, no more uh, non weight bearing activities and I can't wait till I can drive again. So in the meantime, hey, let's stay tuned. Yeah, how I injured myself. Um, one of the things <laughs> being, you know, considering myself active and fairly fit, but I haven't played softball in a while. You know, I think once last year for my niece's team, didn't hurt myself thankfully, but I was playing on the infield. This time I was out in right field and I just went to uh, shag a ball that was hit between first and second base. And, and literally I bent over to pick up the ball and felt kind of a pop, uh, nothing really painful, just kind of a, wow, that was weird. And I actually thought that the ball uh, hit me and that I didn't have the ball, but I'm looking for the ball on the ground and realize the ball is in my glove. And as soon as I go to put my foot on the ground, it's like, oh crap. I couldn't feel the ground. It was like I looked down in my ankle. Sure enough, uh, my foot wasn't in the, wasn't looking good. And immediately I just kind of um, stopped, put ball in glove. And people were probably in the, during the game were going, what the hell is that guy doing? Well, I managed to hobble back to the dugout, at which point looked at my Achilles and knew right away, crap. I had hurt myself, um, and again, not not in any real pain. Maybe I was in shock, but my daughter immediately said, "Dad, I think we're going off to uh, emergency." So, yeah, living with a cast, you know, having three modes of uh, transportation: be it my wife with the vehicle, a scooter for getting around on our main floor, crutches going up and down the stairs, the I Walk 3.0 up and down the stairs. All three of these uh, devices um, have benefited me depending on the situation I needed them for. So uh, again, if you're going to end up in the same situ situation as me with a ruptured Achilles or a broken ankle or whatever, I would say have all three pieces of equipment. You know, they all come in and, and are handy at uh, particular times. So when I was at the uh, CAST clinic the other day for my three-week appointment, took the cast off, looked at my leg, and, and I was quite happy that there wasn't a lot of muscle loss in my calf. I was expecting a lot of uh, uh, atrophy, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. Certainly the strength wasn't there because three weeks immobilized um, does things to, to muscle. But uh, yeah, from a visual standpoint, it wasn't a huge, huge loss. Maybe it's because I have chicken calves, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I was uh, fortunate and again, looking forward to rehab um, to get back into some lower leg exercises and things like that. In the meantime, you know, I've been fortunate enough to be able to go to the gym with a cast and, and, and work on strength training, using machines, 
um, dumbbells, you know, sitting in a spot doing my exercises. So been able to do that. So yeah, lucky there, but, uh, it's, it's tough when you're a squirrel like me and you want to move around and do things. Oh God, you know, a cast just drives you nuts. Hi, it's Mark here. Tanya and I are leaving White Rock and heading back to Alberta to Bright Creek. But I just wanted to demonstrate my my latest contraption. It's called Nywalk 3. And it's part of my arsenal to uh, gain some mobility. I have a scooter, I get around on crutches, and this allows me to do stuff that is free. So when it comes to making coffee, brushing my teeth, it makes it really simple. I have some freedom again, and as I'm into week three of my morning, as I'm into week three of my uh, rehabilitation for a ruptured Achilles, this just gives me some mobility again. And yesterday I went to the gym with crutches. Hopefully one day I'll make it to the gym with this baby. So anyway. So again, with a ruptured tendon, they say the first sort of six weeks are critical keeping that ballerina position with your foot uh, in place. And then uh, once six weeks is up, I can start getting into some rehab. So I will get in touch with my my local uh, physiotherapy clinic and uh, there are a couple of therapists there who will become my new best friends. So uh, I look forward to getting back on the recovery train. Yeah, when it comes to recovery, you know, as much as I have been pretty much pain-free with this injury, it's very, very cumbersome. And my, all of my research points to you got to follow rehab. Otherwise, you, you re-injure yourself, you're going to be most likely getting operated on, which I, thank God, do not want to uh, have to go uh, through surgery. When I first did injure myself, when I did my research, and even with the ER doctor, he kind of said, you know, you're active. You're you're. If you were 20 or younger, straight to surgery. If you were 40 or 70 or older, um, we wouldn't op operate. If you're in that active area part of your life, uh, he would have operated on me. But thankfully, my ortho here in Calgary, they go by a non-surgical approach as much as possible. So I'm I'm glad for that. But you know. Right off the bat, I thought, okay, surgery is going to get me back on a golf course quicker. The research suggests that non-surgical versus surgical, the 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 difference is like I think less than a couple percents of re-rupturing, and with surgical, uh, there is a risk of infection. But again, let your orthopedic doctor decide, not yourself. Now that I have more time on my hands, you know, I can't be out doing my lawn. Thank you, Kurt. He's been inviting my neighbor who's been uh, being my gardener. But uh, I am going to pursue um, allowing folks to to keep up with me as I rehab and, and, and function with a, a bad leg. Uh, one of the things I couldn't uh, find a lot on internet was information um, that was geared toward, towards old guys like me. So I'm really looking forward to... Uh, providing some insights um, to those um, who are weekend warriors and a plus 50 or plus 60. So yeah, give those young guys, you know, a run for their money on social media or YouTube or, or whatever. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Mark here. I'm over, uh, as you can see behind me, up at MJM eBikes. I just got the uh, okay from my orthopedic surgeon to get rid of the cast but I still have a boot on I thought how am I going to evolve my mobility I've had the cast crutches e-scooter knee scooter eye walker so why not a real electric scooter let's give this a shot 